Hey guys, so I'm here today to film um, a declutter video. As you saw from my last one, I did my face products and today we're doing eyes and lips. Um, this might be a long video because I just filmed it and it felt long, but I wanted to do eyes and lips together because I didn't feel like there was enough lip products for it to be its own video. So I figured just one long ass video will have to do. So yeah, today I'll be going through my eyeshadows, eyeshadow palettes, and my lipstick drawers, and we're just gonna get rid of some shit. I have too much makeup, don't judge me, and if you didn't see my face video, I would go watch that because I had a lot of foundations, and I got rid of a lot of foundations. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that today. So, before I get into this video, you should subscribe to my channel. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday, and um, we declutter shit around here, so... <laughs> If you want to see me get rid of a bunch of makeup, then keep watching. Okay, so this is my eyeshadow drawer. I'm going to do my palettes after because most of them are on my desk and then some of them are in another drawer that I forgot to show you guys. It was not a big deal, but these are small palettes, single shadows, and some eyebrow and eyeliner products. So this is a black glitter from Coastal Sense I've never used. It can go. I'm going to keep my It Cosmetic, or sorry, my Lit Cosmetics glitter glue. I have so many ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. Okay, so these are the Super Shock Shadows that were in here. The ones that are on my desk, obviously I use all the time, so I'm gonna, they're staying for sure. These three I just picked up, so they're all staying. Um, they're from the Smoke Show collection. I'm just gonna have to swatch. So the ColourPop Cherries Jubilee I used like last week, it can stay. I'm keeping my My Little Pony ones because they're so fucking cute, but like, do I need this one? I mean, I'm probably gonna end up keeping all of them. Mm. This one can go, this is Socialize. I'm probably gonna keep, oh, this one is dry as fuck. I bought, this is one of the first ever ones I bought. It can go. Same's probably gonna go for this one then because it's, oh, actually this one's not bad. I used to love this color so it can stay. This is Summer Lovin'. So quiche I bought, but like I never use it. Although it is a really pretty color. Yeah, that's a nice like kind of like gunmetal y green color. It can stay. And this is Mixed Tape. This one can go only because it's, oh wait, maybe I can. <laughs> it's a little dry. Like I really have to dig in there. I'm not getting a whole lot of color payoff. And it's just like a really basic purpley taupe color that I never wear. So it can go, but I'm actually getting, mm, yeah, those, those can go. I have this <laughs> one Maybelline color tattoo. Like how old is that? Goodbye. Same goes for this uh, MAC Dark Diversion uh, liquid or gel liner. It's like a purpley color, but again, so dried out. This is MAC's uh, Morning Frost. I used to love this, but like, it's so dry. Everything is dried up. Everything is dried up. I only have uh, three lit glitters. I actually have four, but one's not in here, so I'm going to keep them. Will I ever use them? I don't know, but am I keeping them? Yes. I have two of these L'Oreal infallible shades and I never reach for them, so I'm just getting rid of them. In here, I'm obviously gonna keep my Stila Glitter and Glows. They're fantastic. NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow and Milk. Like, do I need this? No, it's probably so gross now. This is a NARS Duo that I'm never gonna use. This is a NARS single. Oh, this is staying, just cause the shade is so beautiful. This is an Outremer. Maybelline Tattoo Brow that I've never used by. This is the Makeup Forever Starlit Powder. I just, I don't use it ever. I've never used it. It's not that great. It can go. Um, I am, however, keeping my Kat Von D Beethoven palette. This is the first eyeshadow palette I ever owned that was high-end, and it's the reason I got into makeup. So this is like a nostalgia thing that I have to keep forever. Okay, in here, this Makeup Forever Aqua XL. I hate these. They're so dry and gross. Get rid of it. 
Um, I'm going to keep my Anastasia Dip Brow in medium brown, but get rid of granite because I no longer have silver hair. Going to get rid of the Essence one because I don't ever use it. Then I have so many eyeliners. The Sephora um, eyeshadow crayon, love this one. It can stay. My Urban Decay um, Perversion and Rockstar can stay. MAC Slate eye pencil can stay. This other XL can go. Keeping my nude eyeliner. Where's the lid? Who knows? Um, these twist up ones that I had from Annabelle, I had one recently that was super dried out, so I'm going to get rid of them. Um, I love this color from Annabelle, the smudge stick. So it can stay. Keeping my brow contour from Benefit. Um, I have these two brown eyeliners from Anastasia. From Anastasia. Annabelle, like, I don't use eye, like pencil liners, like, ever. Uh, this is the Anastasia Brow Definer in Granite. I don't really like this one. I much prefer the Benefit Goof Proof, and I don't have gray brows anymore, so that can go. Annabelle Smoothie in Peach something. I used to love this, but, like, haven't worn it in forever. This navy blue, like, steel aligner can go. Um, I'll keep the Elf J Kiss aligner because I just picked it up. And then I have so many black liners in here. This Urban Decay one with whiskey on it is, like, totally dried out. Um, Max Feline. Oh, Max Feline isn't bad, actually. This Marc Jacob one is dried out. <laughs> this NARS one is, like, completely broken. Um, so I'll keep Max Smolder and Max Feline because they both are actually still alive. And for small palettes, um, I'm obviously going to keep Smoke Show. I, like, just bought this. I'm definitely going to keep the uh, Strobe Cosmetics Creepy Cute palette. I absolutely love that. Keeping the J Kissa palette, it's also a beautiful palette. Um, this CoverGirl Chocolate Scented palette can go. Um, I just bought this is a, like knockoff flash palette I got off of um, Amazon so I'll keep that for like special effects and like Halloween things I just picked this up last year so I'm gonna keep it I will forever keep my Urban Decay electric palette like it's just too stunning to ever get rid of keeping my Anastasia quad just for travel and I'm finally going to get rid of the uh, comfort zone palette from Wet n Wild because like why do I have this <laughs> and these are all my eyeshadow palettes. Just like a casual amount of eyeshadow palettes, if, if you ask me. Um, so some of these live on my desk. A lot of those I'll be keeping, but I haven't gone through them in a while. And some of these live in a drawer as just like, I want to keep them, but like not as an everyday thing. So let's do this. First, I'm going to keep both of my milk, or sorry, milk, fuck, melt palettes. This is the Gemini palette and the... Uh, um, Muerte palette, I think. I mean, I just got the Muerte one for Christmas. Obviously, I'm keeping it. I'm um, keeping my Anastasia Moonchild palette. I do have some highlighter palettes in with this just because they don't live with my highlighters, but that's a beautiful palette. Oh my God, same thing for the ColourPop State of Mind. I haven't um, worn this in a while, but these glitters are to die for. The Bad Habit Aura palette. This is a dupe for one of the Anastasia palettes, and I truly, truly hate it. It can go. Every year, I toy with what the fuck to do with my Inglot palette. Like, I never reach for any of these colors. And Inglot used to be beautiful shadows, but, like, now these shimmers are just, like, lackluster. Like, their mattes are okay, but none of the mattes in here are that, like, revolutionary. So I think I'm going to get rid of my Inglot palette. Wow. Wow. That was so fucking expensive. Bad Habit Supernova palette. This is a dupe of the uh, Lila palette, I think, and um, I never use it, so bye. My NARS Narcissist palette. I am going to keep this palette. The shades in here are so fucking tiny. I think I'm going to put this on my desk like a to try palette because I do really, I used to love this palette, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, will I ever use this again? I don't know. Palettes have come such a long, long way. <laughs> This is my Ocalon um, Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This is a dupe for the Lime Crime Venus Palette, and I've had it for a couple years and literally, like, never use it, so it can go. My Tarte Tartlet Palette. I don't know what to do with this. I used to love this palette, but now I look at it and I go, 
Will I ever fucking use that? I'm gonna put this on my desk to try as well. This is my Ben Nye Pressed Color Palette. She's a little, um, she's been through some shit as you can see. But these shadows are beautiful and they perform really well and there's lots of cool tones in here and I really just don't wanna go get rid of it. Why is this like have like a shimmer on it? I don't fucking know, but I'm gonna keep this. This is the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie Frankation palette. It's one of my faves. I'm totally keeping it. Let me just do this. I'm keeping all of my Anastasia palettes. Modern Renaissance, Norvina, Jackie Ina, Sultry, Easy Peasy, Lemon Squeezy. Uh, the Soraya Jade Kind of Freaky palette. I really don't like the packaging, but I'm going to keep this because I bought it last year and I do like the shades and I like the way they perform. I really just wish that instead of opening from the front and the back, it just opened like an actual book and you could see all the shadows at the same time. Why is that so much to ask for? Okay, the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette. I never reach for this and like I'm literally so over Morphe, I'm gonna get rid of it. Uh, the ColourPop My Little Pony palette is so fucking cute. I'm gonna keep it, but I'm actually gonna go put it with my um, like smaller style palettes, like my Creepy Cute palette and my Smoke Show palette. Another Ocalon palette I bought that I never fucking use. Goodbye. This is a Morphe, what even was this called? 25B, no idea what it was called, but I never use it and it can go. I'm like so over Morphe. Hey, I think I'm gonna keep all of my Naked palettes. I can't, I just am like not in a place <laughs> to declutter my naked palettes yet. Like, I can't do it. I'm keeping them. You can't stop me. Um, the Reveal 2 palette I'm going to keep also only because I don't have a lot like this. And this is kind of a dupe of the Naked 3 palette that I never bought. And I do like this palette. The Jouer Skinny Dip palette, just like, I never reach for it. And I have so many shades that I like better than this. Like these two are the only shades in here I really like because even Magic Hour is like kind of dark and like I never use Midnight Swim and Flim and these two are too golden so goodbye. Oh my god my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette keeping forever. Love that. Keeping all of my ColourPop singles. We love same goes for this Z palette. It has a real mishmash of shades in here. What broke in here? Like I see shadow, but I don't see anything broken. Like this is like Makeup Geek, MAC, Coastal Sense, maybe some ColourPop. I don't know, there's a lot going on in here, but like these are like all my neutrals and I'm gonna keep that. Keeping the um, Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, like one of the few Jaclyn Hill collabs that didn't suck. I actually love this palette. It's gorgeous and can stay. <laughs> Toddy Beauty, hands down, keeping. The Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. I have such, such confusion with. I'm going to put this on my desk and make myself use it because literally I've only used it a handful of times and like I actually like it. But like the color layout, the color selection is just kind of like all up in my brain and I can't handle it. So I'm gonna try trying this one out and seeing how I feel about it. This is the Morphe, I think this is the 35K. Yeah, one shade is rolling around in here. I'm keeping this one only because it's really fucking hard to find cool tone shadows sometimes and this has a lot of them. This is the Boss Mood palette, I think. I'm gonna keep this one too. I actually don't mind this palette. And same goes for the 39A palette. This is a nice palette. For now, I'm lazy and I'm going to keep most of these shades, but see if maybe I can condense these two palettes. Like, do I need them both? Okay, and I have two Jaclyn Hill Vault palettes. Why? I'll tell you why, because one of them is, I exchanged my vault for a new vault because the vault was just so horrific. And so I thought one of mine said volume two on it. Now I like, do I keep any of these? 
Oh, I broke one. Honestly, I'm getting rid of both of them because truth be told, I'm never going to use them. They are terrible shadows. And I never reach for them so they can go. And that is all of the eyeshadow I'm getting rid of. Wow, that's fucking wild. I have a problem. Okay, I'm gonna tap lips into this video real quick because I'll be able to go through my lip products pretty quickly since I'm not decluttering much. I love lipsticks and I love having lots of lipsticks. So this will be easy. Let's start here. Bite Beauty Chai, keeping. Kat Von D Lolita, keeping. Kors by this like super stay, is this a matte ink? I'm pretty sure this wasn't all that matte. And like I have so many fucking plummy colors, it can go. Uh, these Hourglass liquid lips dry out so easily and that one is crusty. NYX High Voltage can go, this like Aquafina lip balm, we're never use that, never. What is this little bite duo? That's a nice color. And that's a nice color, but will I ever wear either of them? No, it can go, but I will keep my NARS Cruella Iconic. Lip pencils, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep them all, but let's, let's run it down quick. Actually, Revlon Plum, bye. Um, the No Bleeding Lips one can stay. Kylie, whatever can stay. Kylie Love Bug can stay. Annabelle Cherry can stay. Where's the lid for this Kylie one? It's a pretty color, it can stay. Um, current, my MAC pencils, Current, Night Moth, Chestnut, and what's the other one? Plum can all stay. And this is just a lip brush. This um grape color from bite i'm never gonna wear that i used to wear it but like nah she's gone i can literally every color in here can stay i love them all actually you know what coral burst you can go um and like lilac whatever this lilac one can go because i actually prefer the color cheetah by ColourPop because it's like more purple but like everything else in here is literally a color I've used recently, so we're staying. My Urban Decay shadows can stay. I'll put that one back there. I'm just going to kind of quickly read the labels on my MAC ones to see what I like. Female Glam Ariana. Oh, I forgot about Ariana. Like Lickable, this hot pink color. Bye. Media Verve, these are staying. Ruby Woo can stay. Let's cut a caper. Oh yeah, that can go. Heroin, Frankenfurter, Antique Velvet, Fixed on Drama. Yeah, that's right up my alley. Beauty Glam Gaga. What's Enjoy It All? Oh yeah, that can go. Matt Royal, Impassioned. I used to love this shade, but like. No, thank you. Lady Danger can stay. What is this? Oh, yeah, this is like some weird purple color, but like, no thanks. Wow, who am I? Look at me throwing out purples and brights. Used to be my scene. Now I'm over it. Crosswires is another. <laughs> Used to love a coral lip. Don't know who the fuck I was. Cyber can stay. Like Revlon's Black Cherry I used to love, but like how old and gross is this? No, you can go. I remember when I wasn't really going to declutter much, and then here I am just throwing shit out like this orange by Kat Von D? No. Um, Revlon, why not? Like, I'm not going to... I just, like, don't use some of these anymore. This next one can go. What about this one in Hibiscus? Like, can we get rid of fucking orange? I hate orange. This red can stay. Um, and then the rest of these next ones can stay. Oh, actually, this pinky one can go. Okay, these are my nudes. I've recently become really into nude lipsticks and I haven't really tested a lot of these, so I'm probably gonna keep a lot of my nudes, but some of them I'll get rid of. 
The two Soraya Jade ones I'm keeping for sure because like I love these ones. Um, my NYX lingerie can stay. Same with this like more grayish one. We love a grayish around here. For the Kat Von D ones, um, Ludwig, like I just don't know if this color is it for me. I think I'm going to keep Ludwig, but I'm going to get rid of what's this one? Lovecraft? Yeah, no. Also going to keep Hawkwind and Sanctuary because I love these ones. Uh, same goes for, oh, gee, what's this one? Oh yeah, same goes for Madrid and the large sanctuary that I have. My large sanctuary wall. Um, Anastasia Sepia keeping forever. Two MAC liquid lipsticks gonna keep. Kylie, is this Love Bug? Love Bite. This is like the only Kylie lipstick that I actually like, so it can stay. Um, I believe this is, like, I'm pretty sure I've never used, like, either of these Anastasia ones, but I'm gonna keep that. Okay, literally, who am I kidding? None of, I'm looking at all these now, and I'm like, who am I kidding? I'm keeping them all. But this, uh, ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip can go. Who needs this many reds? Me, that's who. Uh, keeping my Soraya Jade ones, and this, like, glittery one from Kat Von D. Keeping this Tarte one I loved. Um, what else is in here? This NYX one, I mean, like, I feel like I want to keep all these. My Ofra ones I'm keeping. Um, Anastasia, I feel like if I'm going to keep Anastasia American Doll, I really don't need these, uh, really drying matte ass color pop ones that are painful on the lips, but I'll keep this one. I'm pretty sure this is a, uh, satin that one. I'm gonna get rid of the metallic because like I never wear them. And then I'll keep these ones. So this pile is crazy colors I guess. You've got like your funky colors, your darks, your vampies, your purples, your blues, etc. Anastasia, um, what is it called? Requiem. Keeping it. Also gonna keep this blue from Sephora. Keeping the glitter, like the Cat Body Everlasting Glitter Veils are magic. I'm also going to keep my Cat Body Liquid Lipsticks because I love them and that's just how I feel. Same with my Cat Body Black one. I'm going to get rid of the Kylie Black one because I find it really drawing and I like the Cat Body one and the Fenty one better. Keeping my Soraya Jade ones. Keeping this weird color from NYX. Um, Colourpop's Marshmallow is my jam. Same with Petite Four. Um, keeping my funky ColourPop ones. Gonna get rid of this other metallic though. Keeping this Baby Cat Bondi one. What is this? What do you look like? Um, that can go. Like it's a nice color, but like it feels kind of like it's dry and gross. Keeping this one. I'm gonna keep my Anastasia ones because I like the formula. Gonna keep this like vampy um Mac one and um New Orleans by Ofra. Gonna keep both of these ultra mats. One day I'm gonna have to part with my ColourPop Ultra Mats, but that day is not today. And this one looks like separated and weird. Like the color's pretty, but like am I ever gonna wear that? No. Okay, so out of <laughs> All of that lipstick, that's all I got rid of, which I'm not surprised by. I love lipstick and I like having variety, so I kept a lot. Don't judge me. But I mean, actually, I got a lot of, I got rid of a lot of my MAC lipsticks, which like I never thought would happen, but I was kind of just holding on to them for no reason. So, peace out, bitches. So, that is all of the makeup I'm getting rid of today. Eyeshadows, lipsticks, so many eyeshadow palettes that I have just been holding on to and not using. And now I feel like I have so much room in my collection for more makeup. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will be um, letting my best friend dig through this. So just like the last one, Amanda, text me the shit you want. If you watch this video, I know you did. And the rest I'll be donating because there's so much crap I don't have. Well, except for like my max up. My max up I'll be back to macking. Like there's six lipsticks in here. 
So I'm going to go exchange the six lipsticks I don't want for a lipstick that I do want. That's how it's done. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.